What a beautiful day because of you. Amen. Father, we thank you. Our divine and gracious Father. The Almighty God, Mungu mku, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mungu wa baba yetu, Yesu this morning, ya leo, we ask just ourselves tuko tu sisi vile in your presence. Wenye we are learning to fall in love with you again. Tena. What we desire is intimacy with you. Kile ni undani wa na wewe. Because you are our bridegroom. Kwa vile wewe ndiye mo, mo, you are all mo, that matters. Wewe ni chochote kile and therefore this morning, kwa hivu ya leo, we are surrendered to you. Kwako. Lord, Bwana, I'm only your mouthpiece. Mimi tu ni chako. Just a mouthpiece, Lord. What we desire is your voice. It's you we need to hear. And we are so desperate for you. So desperate for you, God. We are come to drink from the wells of salvation. Thirsting after you. And therefore, we are open and have your way Na tunataka upate njia yako. in Jesus name jina la Yesu. Amen. Amen you may take your seats you may take your seats now. Keti. yesterday we began with uh, the overview of uh, the book of Hebrews. Jana tulianza na kuangalia kitabu cha Wahebrewia. Because what we are doing this morning is a Bible exposition on, on the book of Hebrews. Kile tunafanya ni mafunzo ya Biblia kutoka kitabu cha Wahebrewia. How many are learning to love this this book? Wangapi wanajifunza kupenda hichi kitabu? Amen. Amina. Amen. Amen. Amina. Oh, it's wonderful. Ni ajabu. So yesterday we ended at um, at a point where the Lord was taking us back to the cross. Jana tukatamatisha mahali ambapo Bwana aliturejesha kwenye msalaba. Back to the cross. Tukirejea kwenye msalaba. Back to loving him again. Kumpenda yeye tena. Back to loving him again and again tena na and again and again. Na tena. And a place of self commitment. Mahala pa kujitwalia kujitoa. And we also saw that this letter was written Kona hai maandiko yameandikwa to the Jewish Christians kwa wale waahudi wa Kristo that were facing severe persecution. Walio kumbana na kuadhiriwa kuku. They had they had known the Lord. Walikuwa wamemjua Bwana. Someone had preached the gospel to them. Wakahubiri hata mtu kwa injili kwa wao. But times became very tough. Lakini wakati ukawa mgumu. And then they had been promised about the, the, the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And time was just running and no. years were passing. Days became weeks and months and years. And as they delayed, as the delay because of the delay kwa sababu ya kawia their enthusiasm began to wane ile mori yao ikaanza kuisha that passion for jesus ile mori ya yesu their faith began to drift imani yao ikaanza kusonga they, they got caught up in other things wakapatikana kuhusika katika mambo mengine and they forgot na wakasahau the grace that had saved them ile neema ambayo ilikuwa imeokoa but we must never forget the cross lakini tusiwahi isahau msalaba because it is at the cross that we first believe kwa vile ni salabani mwanzo tuliokoa it is at the cross when we first saw the light salabani it is at the cross where our burdens were removed. It is at that cross when we came in co connection with our Lord Jesus. So this day too, we're going to look at uh, Hebrews chapter 1. Just a couple of verses. Very few. We're going to begin Hebrews 1. That's what we're going to read. Tutasoma. And and we can read from um, we can read from uh, New King James Version. Tasoma katika King James Version. New King James Version. Tasoma katika New King James Version. New King James Version. Tasoma na katika hiyo version. Yes, we are looking at Jesus Christ. Tuna mwangalia Yesu Kristo. The voice of God. Ambaye ni sauti ya Mungu. Jesus Christ. Yesu Kristo. 
the voice of God. Aliye sauti ya Mungu. Jesus Christ. Yesu Kristo. The voice of God. Ambaye ni sauti ya Mungu. I believe you carried your Bibles with you. Na mimi ulibeba Biblia yako pamoja na, nawe. But what I'll read from is NIV. Lakini kile nitasoma ni NIV. In the past God spoke to our forefathers. Mwanzo Mungu alisoma na baba zetu. Through the prophets. Kupitia kwa manabii. At many times. Na mara nyingi. And in various ways. Kwa njia zingine tofauti. But in these last days. Tisiku za mwisho. He has spoken to us by his son. Anasema nasi nikitupitia mwanae. He appointed heir of all things. Aliyemwamuria kama mzirithi wa yote. And through whom he made the universe. Na aliyeunda dunia. The sun is the radiance of God's glory and the exact representation of his being. Jua latoa mngao wa utukufu wake na chapa nafsi yake. Sustaining all things by his powerful word. Ikiwezesha vitu zote kwa neno lake lenye utukufu. After he had provided purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty in heaven. Baada ya kutoa utakaso wa dhambi kisha akakaa kwenye mlongo wa mkono wa ukuu wa uume wa Bwana yake. So he became as much superior to the angels as the name he has inherited is superior to theirs. Amefanyika bora kupitia malaika kwa kadiri jina alilolitihiri na iliyo kutukufu katika katika kuliko lao. Verse 5 for to which of the angels did God ever say you are my son? Today I have become your father or again I'll be his father and he will be my son. Ni kwa mwana alimwambia malaika yupi wakati wowote ndiye mwanangu mimi leo nimeku, nimeku, nimekuzaa na tena mimi nimekuwa kwake baba na yeye amekuwa mwana amekuwa mwana, mwana wangu. What the author of Hebrews is talking about in this few um, verses that we have read. Kile mwandishi wa Hebrania anasema katika haya maandiko tuliyosoma. He is emphasizing on the truth that God spoke. Sisi tizo lake ni ule ukweli ambao Mungu alinena. And in emphasizing that truth his he, uh, two, two truths uh, two truths come out clearly to us. Na nasisitiza haya mambo mawili ambayo yanakuja vizuri kwetu. That God spoke in Kwa the past. Mungu alinena awali. God has spoken in the past. Na alinena hapo awali Mungu. And God has spoken. Hata sasa Mungu amenena. For the final time. Kwa wakati wa mwisho through his son Jesus. Kupitia mwanae Yesu Kristo. God has spoken in the past. Mungu amenena awali. And God has spoken for the final time. Na Mungu amenena kwa wakati wa mwisho. Through his son. Kupitia mwanae the writer of Hebrews saw that the source of all authority is in the voice of God. And that's why he begins by saying God spoke. God spoke. Mungu alinena. God spoke. Mungu alinena. Something about his voice. Kitu kuhusu sauti yake. Now our Christian faith begins in the affirmation Inaanza katika kutili God spoke. Kutilio himizo katika kila Mungu alinena. Even in Genesis chapter 1. Hata katika mwanzo. It begins by saying what God spoke. Inasema kuhusu kile Mungu alinena. So our Christianity, kwa hivyo Ukristo wetu, or our Christian faith, ama imani yetu ya Ukristo, begins in that affirmation. Inaanza katika hilo himizo that God spoke. Kwamba Mungu alinena. And this last time, na katika huu wakati wa mwisho, he spoke through his son. Amenena kupitia mwanae. Christ is God's voice. Kristo ni sauti ya Mungu. Christ is God's voice. Kristo ni sauti ya Mungu. Christ is God's voice. Kristo ni sauti ya Mungu. Now in the past, katika God spoke partially. Mungu alinena tu kwa vipimo. Through the prophets. Kupitia kwa manabii. Now he has spoken fully. Sasa amenena katika timilizo. Through his son. Kupitia mwanae. And each time God spoke. Kila wakati Mungu akinena. He spoke of something a, a, a central truth or a, 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 a focal point or a central truth about himself. Alinena kutoka katika ukweli bayana kuhusu yeye mwenyewe. That was relevant for that particular time. Ambao ulihusisha ule wakati katika historia. So, for example, through prophet Amos. Kwa mfano kupitia nabii Amos. God spoke. Mungu akanena of justice. Katika kutoa haki. God is concerned about justice. Mungu anahusika sana katika haki. God is concerned about the oppression of the poor. Na Mungu anahusika anafinyika sana katika kufinyika kwa wale ambao ni maskini. Through prophet Isaiah. Kupitia nabii Isaiah. God spoke about holiness. Pia kanena kuhusu utakatifu. God is holy. Mungu ni mtakatifu. Through prophet um, um, Hosea. Kupitia nabii Hosea. God spoke about 
his forgiving love Mungu akanena kuhusu upendo wake wa kusamehe but what each prophet spoke lakini kile chochote nabii yote alinena was only a fragment ilikuwa tu kidogo of the total truth of god's character ya ukweli wote katika mwenendo ama unyoofu wa mungu but in jesus lakini katika yesu the totality of god's character ukamilifu wa wenye mwenendo wa mungu was in jesus was Uli in jesus katika kristo the totality ule ukamilifu of all the absolute ama yote character of god ule unyoofu wote wa mungu was in jesus ulikuwa katika kristo the, rise, the writer is insane mwandishi anasema that the words of the prophets were less maneno, less, less weighty maneno ya nabii yalikuwa na uzito kidogo less worthy yalikuwa na udogo yalikuwa na uzito mdogo that they are less worthy than the words of the son or what he spoke through the son haikuwa na uzito mwingi kama vile alivyo nena na mwanai no 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 but there is a difference kuna tofauti the prophets and their prophecies nabii na unabii wao throughout history katika historia yote were pointing to this christ walikuwa wanaelekea huyu kristo were pointing walikuwa wanaelekeza they were prophesying about israel walikuwa wakitoa nabii kuhusu israeli they were pointing to christ walikuwa wanamlenga yeye kristo and christ is the one that fulfilled the, these prophecies nae kristo ndiye alikamilisha huu nabii So what we say we can say now or what the author is bringing out Kile mwandishi anatoa hapa is that the book of Hebrews Ni kwamba wa Hebrewia is 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 about the end time Ni kuhusu siku za mwisho or it, it yeah it is interpreted best as an end time book Ama inachambua kutoka kitabu cha mwisho because in Hebrews we are reminded Katika Hebrewia tunakumbushwa that the end of of the ages came down in Jesus Kwamba tamati ya siku ilishuka katika Kristo Yesu The end time began with Jesus. Na mwisho ukaanza na Kristo. And the first sermon Jesus preached. Na ile ujumbe wa kwanza Yesu alinena. He says the kingdom of God has come. Akasema ufalme wa Mungu umekuja. Now back to verse 1. Tukirudi katika aya ya kwanza. In the past. Katika siku za kwanza. God spoke. Mungu alinena. To our forefathers. Kwa wale baba zetu. Through the prophets at many times. Kupitia manabii wakati mwingi. And in various ways. Na katika njia tofauti. So in various ways. Katika njia tofauti. And many times. Katika wakati mwingi. In various ways. Na njia tofauti. You see God is so rich. Mungu yeye ana utajiri mwingi. He has a variety of approaches. Ana wingi wa kuwa mambo. The way he approaches a man. Jinsi anaweza kuelekea mtu. Or his approaches to man. Ama vile anakuja kwa mtu. He spoke in different forms. Analena na njia tofauti. Even in the Old Testament. Hata katika gano la kale. And and even though he spoke to prophets. Na hata kama alinena that he spoke. Alinena kwa nabii wakati alinena. He spoke in fragments. Alinena kwa nusu nusu. Just small portions. Kwa viungo viungo. Remember there is one time he spoke. Kumbuka kuna wakati alinena. At the time when J- the Jacob had had a, a supernatural uh, supernatural manifestation. Wakati Yakobo alikumbana na Mungu on his way to his uncle Laban. Alipoenda kwa yule uh, uh, Labani. God spoke through Samuel. Mungu akanena kuhusu Samueli. Kupitia Samueli. He spoke to Samuel in a voice akanena kwa samueli na sauti he spoke to elijah akanena pia kwa elijah using a still small voice kupitia sauti nyororo he spoke through famine akanena hata katika janga he spoke through drought akanena hata wakati wa kiangazi he spoke through flood akanena kuhusu mafuriko he spoke through even pestilence akanena hata katika hadhari God spoke. Mungu alinena. And you know what that tells us? Na unajua kile kinatuambia? That Christianity is a religion of revelation. God reveals himself. Kristo ni ufunuo, Mungu anajifunua mwenyewe. Anajifunulia watu. They are not left in the dark. Hawawachi kwenye giza. He reveals himself. Anajidhihirisha kwa wao. He reveals himself. Anajifunua kwao. So God speaks to a person. Kwa hivyo Mungu ananenia mtu. About a particular matter. Kuhusu jambo fulani. In a particular moment. Katika wakati fulani. Even now God is speaking to you. Hata sasa Mungu anakunenea. We are a group of people tukukundi cha watu but he's speaking to you as an individual lakini anakunenea binafsi he's speaking to you about concerning a particular matter akakunenea kuhusu jambo fulani and concerning this particular season that you're in tika huu msimu ambao tuko ndani very important for you and i to understand seasons ni cha maana sana wewe kujua kuhusu msimu to understand the seasons kuweza kubainisha msimu because god will speak to 
to you Mungu akikunenea personally wewe binafsi in a, in a concerning a particular issue katika kuhusu jambo fulani in a particular season katika msimu fulani so god speaks Mungu ananena he speaks ananena so verse one says and he spoke to our forefathers akanena kwa baba zetu wa kitambo so the writer here brings the whole that history that beautiful holy history of israel mwandishi analeta historia yote ya waisraeli And and right at the beginning of the first sentence. Na katika tangulizi hayo maandishi. He talks about the forefathers. Ananena kuhusu wa baba zetu. Israel was not like any other nation. Israeli haikuwa kama taifa lingine lolote. Israel had fathers of faith. Israeli ilikuwa na baba wa imani. Even today we have fathers of faith. Hata leo tuna baba wa imani. Even now here we Hata have a father tu, of faith. Tuna baba wa imani hapa. Can you hear me what Leza I'm saying? Bila nasema leo. God had given his word Personally, Mungu alikuwa amepeana neno lake yeye mwenyewe kwa Waisraeli and he had made a covenant with them na akafanya agano na wao the way he had never done vile hajawaifanya with any nation na taifa lingine lolote katika dunia yote and so the writer is bringing out this fact about god mwandishi analeta huu kweli kuhusu mungu that god respects even abraham and the covenant he made with abraham mungu anaheshimu hata agano lile abraham alifanya naye he respects the history of israel anaheshimu historia ya israeli but concerning now lakini kuhusu sasa all that was spoken chochote kilichonenwa even the covenant he made with abraham agano alifanya naye abraham is fulfilled in his son inatamata tishwa na mwanai and then still in verse 1 it talks about that he spoke through prophets na pia anaenea kuhusu analiongea kuhusu manabii this means that god speaks to people ikusema mungu anaongea na watu through people kupitia watu He talks to you anakunenea wewe through a person kupitia mtu so even in times past hata wakati wa awali god spoke through prophets alinena kuhusu manabii so he speaks to people ananenea watu through people kupitia watu so god uses men mungu anatumia watu he uses humans anatumia wa binadamu akanenea kupitia nabii now the writer is saying mwandishi anasema What's happening now? Kile kinatendeka no, sasa. In time past. Katika wakati wa awali. God spoke to prophets. Mungu akanenea na manabii. But now. Lakini sasa. So what he said? Kile anasema. That that season. Katika huo msimu. When he was speaking through prophets. Akinena kupitia manabii. That age. Hiyo msimu. Of those prophets. Wa hiyo manabii. Is coming is now drawing to a close. Sasa unafika wakati wa kufunga. In the New English Bible. Katika New English Bible. It says it's a version. New English Bible version. Katika hiyo version hiyo ya Biblia. It says. Inasema in this final age katika huu msimu wa mwisho that in this final age nyakati hizi za mwisho he has spoken through his son amenena kupitia mwanae he has spoken through his son amenena jesus amenena kupitia mwanae yesu kristo now you see if this is his last words like through jesus kama basi haya ni maneno yake kupitia yesu the words of a, of, a, of a dying man even in our society are really treasured maneno ya mtu ambaye anakufa katika siku zetu pia yana dhamana sana so then we can say kwa hivyo tunaweza sema that the, the last words that god was speaking at that time maneno ya mwisho mungu alikuwa ananena wakati ule ni yesu ni yesu is jesus ni yesu is jesus ni yesu he's given us jesus ametupatia yesu that's it hiyo ndivyo so jesus does not belong to the prophets yesu si wa manabii he's not among the prophets he's not among the prophets of old yesu kati ya manabii wale wa kale he's christ yeye ni Christo. the son mwana and his message na ujumbe wake is a fulfillment ni wa kutekeleza prophecies unabii amen amina so jesus christ kwa hivyo yesu christo was the son of man alikuwa mwana wa mungu and the son of god na mwana wa mungu and and we and and the and the and the writer is helping us to understand mwandishi anatusaidia kufahamu that is also the bearer of eternal salvation pia yeye ndiye mwanzilishi wa jesus is god's son yeye ni mwana wa mungu jesus is the bearer of eternal life yeye ndiye aliye na umelele jesus is the Lord of history. Yesu ndiye mwana wa historia. Jesus is the inheritor of ages. Yeye ndiye mrithi wa unyakati. You know one time Jesus astounded or he shocked the Pharisees. Wakati mmoja Yesu akashtua wafarisayo. He says akasema before Abraham. Kabla Abraham I am. Mimi ndiye. And they didn't understand him. Na hawakumuelewa. But Jesus lakini Yesu is Lord of history. Ni bwana wa historia. So verse two. Kwa hivyo ya pili. He says But in these last days lakini nyakati za mwisho he has spoken ametunenea to his son kwa mwanae whom he appointed ambaye alimuamua heir of all things amemteua kuwa mrithi wa yote all power nguvu zote all that powerful authority hayo mamlaka yote ya nguvu belongs to christ ni ya kristo matthew 28:18 he said all power anasema nguvu zote all authority mamlaka yote has been given to me yamepatiwa kwangu all power nguvu zote all authority mamlaka yote has been given to me yamepeana kwangu you know we sing about it tunaimba kuhusu but we need to understand this 
Tunafaa kufahamu kwamba all power nguvu zote all authority mamlaka yote has been given to this Jesus kwa huyu Yesu it was given to Jesus yakapeano kwa Yesu God made the universe Mungu akafanya dunia through this Christ kupitia Kristo huyu and John 1 verse 3 says na moja moja tatu na sasa him kupitia yeye all things were made mambo yote yakaumbwa Colossians 1:16 Kolosea moja kuna sita by him kupitia yeye all things were mambo created mambo yote yakaumbwa from before the creation wa maumbile of the universe ya maumbile Christ was with God Kristo alikuwa pamoja na Mungu Everything that God created Chochote kile Mungu ameumba He created through Jesus Christ Alikiumba kupitia Yesu Kristo Can we imagine Hebu fikiria That on that creation morning Katika wakati wa maumbile That Jesus stood right Yesu there Yesu Kristo akasimama pale as, as the creation was being called Wakati maumbile yakiitwa Into being Yakawe This son Huyu mwana The creator Muumba is the one who knew ndiye alijua what was in man kile kilikuwa ndani ya mtu as john 225 says kama yona 2:25 jesus nasema. did not commit himself to man yesu atukubaniya kwa mtu because he knew all men alijua kila mtu he is the creator yeye ndiye muumba so he knew kwa all men kwa watu wote all men kila mtu So because he entered the human race. Akaingia katika maumbile ya watu through the door of flesh. Pitia kwa mwili wa mwili. He was already there. Tayari alikuwa hapo. But he entered the human race. Lakini akaingia katika maumbile ya watu through the door of flesh. Kupitia mlango wa mwili. Jesus the Yesu creator. Yesu Kristo muumbaji. Oof. All things. Mambo yote. All things. Mambo yote. Do you know even our minds are are limited. We cannot even imagine. Hata mafikira yetu hatuwezi wazia. What that means? Kile kilicho kinamaanisha. All Things mambo yote belongs to this Jesus ni ya Yesu huyu whom we lift ambaye tunainua whom we exalt ambaye tunainua whom we praise ambaye tunasifu whom we love ambaye tunapenda this Jesus huyu Yesu all things mambo yote belong to him ni yake now verse 3 man uh, aya tatu. the writer says mwandishi anasema he reflects the glory of god yeye ndiye anyonyesha utukufu wa mungu He reflects the glory of God. Yeye ndiye anaangazia utukufu wa Mungu. Whatever you see in Jesus. Chochote unaona katika Kristo. He is the reflection of the Father. Yeye ndiye anaangazia yale baba. Glory itself. Utukufu wenyewe. And, and, and Hugo brought us brought that very clearly yesterday. Hii ndio jambo likaletwa jana vizuri. About reflecting the glory. Kuhusu kuangazia utukufu. That Jesus Christ. Yesu Kristo. Reflects the glory of his Father. Huo utukufu wa baba yake. The Son. Mwana. Is the radiance of God's glory. Ndiye yule anang'aa utukufu wa Bwana wa Baba. Just as the sun kama vile mwana the, the, the sun him kama jua. vile jua just as the radiance or the radiance of the sun shines on the earth kama vile miale ya jua inang'aa kwenye dunia like when we wake up in the morning wakati tunaumka asubuhi the sun radiates jua linaleta miale on the earth katika dunia so does jesus christ hivyo hivyo ndivyo yesu shine in our hearts anatoa miale katika maisha yetu whatever the, this sun does to the earth vile jua linatendea dunia Jesus Christ Yesu Kristo radiates in the hearts of men Anaangazia katika roho za watu Bible says in 1 John 1:1 Jeremiah anasema katika Yohana 1:1 That which was from the beginning Kile kilichokuwa mwanzo which we have heard ambacho tumesikia which we have seen Kile tumeona with our eyes na macho yetu which we have looked at Kile tumetamaza mia and our hands have touched na mikono yetu imeguza the word of life Neno la uhai First John 1:5 Moja tano Yohana God is light Mungu ni mwanga In him there is no darkness at all Kwake kwake hakuna giza The brightness of his glory Anaangazia utukufu wake The brightness of his glory Anaangazia utukufu wake The writer continues to say Mwandishi anaendelea kusema He is the exact representation of his being Yeye ndiye mwakilishi kamilifu wa utu wake Exact Jesus Christ Yesu Kristo is the exact ndiye ule kamilifu representation of his being wa kuwakilisha utu wake the express image of his person anayedhihirisha utu wake Jesus Yesu the image of God ambaye ni mfano wa Mungu Jesus Yesu looks like God anafanana na Mungu Jesus yes. is exactly like him ni mkamilifu kama Mungu it is like he bears the stamp of his nature ni kama ana ule muhuri wa umbile wake what God is Jesus is kile Mungu alicho ndicho Yesu alicho he is a clear cut Ye, image of his father kabisa anafanana na baba yake the exact likeness ukamilifu fu wa kufanana the manifestation of god udhihirisho wake mungu colossians 2:9 colossians 2:9 let's let's read that colossians 2:9 colossians 2:9 oh there we go for in him dwells all the fullness of the godhead bodily kwa vile ndani yake kuna ukamilifu ule wa uungu wa in jesus katika yesu dwells kuna kuna dumu all fullness ukamilifu of the godhead wa ule uungu sustaining all things by his
his powerful word. Can we imagine that Jesus sustains all things? Anadumisha yote. All yote. Including yourself. Hata wewe binafsi. Your past, Utu wako wa your present, wasasa, your future. Hata wajo siku Anaziweka. He sustains all things. Anahifadhi yote. By his powerful word. Kupitia neno lake lenye nguvu. Upholding all things. Akishikilia yote. By the word of his power. Kupitia neno la nguvu yake. You know in Christ. Katika Kristo. All things hold together. Mambo yote yanashikamana. In Christ. Katika Kristo. All things make sense. Mambo yote yanaleta mawazo. In Christ. Katika Kristo. In Christ. Katika Kristo. But outside of Christ. Lakini nje ya Kristo. There is confusion. Kuna kuchanganyikiwa. Outside of Christ. Nje ya Kristo. Things may not be clear. Mambo yanaweza kuwa hayako bayana. Outside of Christ. Nje ya Kristo. There is darkness. Kuna giza. Outside of Christ. Nje ya Kristo. There may be no direction. Unaweza kuwa kuna mwelekeo. But in him. Lakini ndani yake. All things Kuna mambo yote yanashikamana pamoja katika yeye. All things are okay. He holds all things together. Ashikilia yote pamoja. Colossians 1:17. Colossians 1, 17. Christ is the sustainer. Kristo ndiye anashikilia. Of the universe. Anadumisha dunia. Of the universe. Ya dunia. He sustains the weight of the universe. He does all things yote. by his powerful word. His word Maneno yake. is both word neno. and action. Na matendo. That means when he speaks, akisema, he also acts. Pia anatenda. When Christ speaks, Christo akisema, he also acts. Pia anatenda. When he speaks, wakati ananena, he also acts. Pia anatenda. Right there. Hapo hapo. He speaks Anasema, and he acts. Na anatenda. So the writer mwandishi hapa After describing who the son is. Baada ya kueleza mwana ni nani? To his readers. Kwa wale ambao walikuwa wasomewa. The writer now. Sasa mwandishi hapa. List the son's achievements. Ana anaangazia yale ambayo ameweza kuwakilisha ama kutenda. The achievements of this son. Yale mwana ameweza kutekeleza. Tatu. When he had by himself purged our sins. Wakati yeye mwenyewe ametutakasa kutoka dhambi zetu. That is in KJV. Katika KJV in NIV after he had provided the purification for sins. Baada ya kuleta utakaso wa dhambi, he offered himself. Yeye akajitoa. As a sacrifice for our sakes. Kama dhambi huko ni yetu. So that we might be forgiven. Ili tukasamehewe. For our sins. Kwa madhambi zetu. And made clean. Na tukatakaswe. So when he had by himself purged our sins. Baada ya yeye kututakasa. He offered himself as a sacrifice. Akajitoa kama dhambi and he bore in our place the punishment for our sins again to the cross at the cross Jesus dealt with sin proper that is what the author of Hebrews is telling us at the cross what Jesus did he dealt a blow to the root cause of sin are you hearing me? Nadiskia. He trounced it. Akaweza. He dealt a big blow. Akaweza kuipigana vita. To the power of sin. Kwa nguvu ya dhambi. It was dealt a big blow. Akakabiliana naye na kaivunja. He also on the cross. Na pia pale msalabani. He dealt with guilt consciousness. Pia akapigana na ile hali ya kuhukumu. At all the time you are that guilt conscious. Ile hali ya kujisikia unahukumiwa. He dealt with it at the cross. Akakabiliana na msalabani. Hear me this day. Sikia siku ya leo. Satan should never hold you hostage. Shetani hafai kukushika mateka. Never. Hafai because of your passing you are dhambi. no longer a slave Wewe si yule to fear or to sin dhambi tena. are you there pale. he dealt with it tu, and then the bible says in verse 3 he sat nasima. down on the right hand of the majesty on high why did he sit down Kwa nini because the work was finished Kwa kazi yesterday we said there is no settling in the kingdom Jana tukasema, we can't be seated. Our work is not finished. We cannot sit. Because our work is not finished. Jesus sat. Because he finished. Are you with me this day? So he finished his work. He sat on the right hand of the Most High. In a position of majesty. And in a position of unparalleled power. That's why we're seeing there is no equal. He has no equal. He is God. He is exalted on high. He is the central being. He is the central focal point. 
point. Yeye ndiye mwajilishi wa Oh, he is God. Yeye ni Mungu. That's why. Ndio maana. He sat down. Akaketi on the right at the right hand of the most high God. Kona wa kiume wa kulia. In a position of majesty. Katika sehemu ya ukuu. In a position of an unparalleled power. Sehemu ya nguvu iliyosawia. Jesus is position. Mungu mahali amewekwa. Cannot be challenged by anyone. Haiwezi pigwa changamoto na yeyote. No demon from hell. Hakuna pepo kutoka no kuzimu. No principality. Hakuna mamlaka. No mganga. Hakuna mganga. Mchawi. Hakuna mchawi. No murogi. Ama murogi. Can can challenge that position. Ambaye anaweza piga changamoto hiyo sehemu. Nothing. Hakuna chochote. It is unparalleled. Hakuna yeyote anaweza linganishwa naye. None. Hakuna. None. Hakuna. He is the king of kings. Yeye ndiye mfalme wa falme. No king on earth. Hakuna mfalme duniani. And you know Kenyans we need to be to remember this truth. Kenya tunafaa kukumbuka huu kweli. There is no politician. Hakuna mwanasiasa that has come. Ambaye amekuja. Oh is here. Ama ako pale. Oh will come. Ama atakaye kuja. That can be greater. Ambaye anaweza kuwa mkuu. Than Jesus. Kuliko Yesu Kristo. We must never. Lazima tusiwahi. Never ever. Tusiwahi kamwe. Ever. Kamwe. Exalt anyone. Tukainua yoyote. Whether you be a king. Hata kiwa mfalme. Or whoever you are. Ambaye yote aliye. Above. Ju. The Lord of Lords. Ya bwana mwa bwana. The King of Kings. Falme wa falme. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Tukufu kwa Yesu. He's the greatest prophet of all. Yeye ni nabii mkuu wa 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 tangu kale. The high priest, everlasting high priest. Yeye ambaye ni nabii mkuu tangu aliyezaliwa. Mkuu kabisa. Superior to all. Mkuu kwa yote. Verse 4. Aya 4. So he became as much superior. Basi akawa mkuu zaidi to the angels. Kwa wale malaika. As as the name he has inherited. Kama neno ambalo ameridhi. Is superior to all. So he became as much superior. Akawa mkuu zaidi. To the angels as the name he has inherited. Kwa malaika hata kwa neno ambalo ameripata. Superior to them. Ni mkuu kuliko wao. You know I love Jesus. Napenda Yesu. That's why I just talk about him. Ndio maana anaenda kumhusu. With everything that I am. Na chochote kile nilicho. Because he did for me. Alinitendea. What no man on earth can do. Kile hakuna mtu duniani angenitendea. No, what he gives me. Kile ananipa. No one can give me. Hakuna mtu anaweza nipa. Not even my husband Hata whom I love sio most. Hata sio mume wangu ambaye nampenda zaidi. Jesus Christ. Yesu Kristo. The son of the living God. Bwana Mungu aishie wow. milele. He is God. Yeye ni Mungu. So he became. Akawa superior to angels mkuu kwa malaika and his name above any angel you know na jina lake likawa juu ya malaika yote unayojua above every name juu ya jina lolote lile and that name that we say na hilo jina ambalo tunasema that jesus was given kwamba yesu alipewa is the position of is the name of son ni mahali pa mwana no one else has that title kuna yote aliye na jina lile angels are called messengers malaika wanaitwa watumwa and the author finds this important na basi anapata hii ikiwa maana the, the, the author is his writing mwandishi it was very important for the author to point out ikawa ni maana sana mwandishi kuleta haya bana that jesus is greater than the angels kwamba yesu yuko juu ya malaika greater than the angels ni mkuu kuliko malaika you know why unajua kwa nini because the world of the bible kwa sababu neno la biblia was was inhabited by angels lilikuwa limejaziliwa na malaika from the beginning to the end tangu mwanzo hadi mwisho is about angels malaika walikuwa wamehusika and the jewish christians na wale wa yahudi were familiar with angels walikuwa wanatambua sana malaika because god had to use angels in the past kwa vile mungu alitumia malaika hapo awali and you know something unajua kitu humans are always fascinated by angels watu wakati wote wanashangazwa na malaika or the angelic being ama ile utu wa malaika Most angels in the Bible Malaika wengi kwenye Biblia appeared in form of man Wadhirika kama watu Some were visible Wengine walionekana Some were invisible Wengine hawakuonekana Some were just had like the voice Wengine only Wengine kwa kitu kama sauti Some had wings Wengine walikuwa na mabawa Others did not Wengine hawakuwa Others had multiple faces Wengine walikuwa na nyuso nyingi Some were bright and shining Wengine walikuwa na ng'aa na kuangaza oh, Angels Malaika You know angels are mentioned in the Bible. Malaika umetajwa kwenye Biblia. 273 times. Mara 267. And angels were created by God. Malaika waliumbwa na Mungu. Remember Bible says Kumuka Lucifer pi... was also an angel. Biblia inasema kwamba Lucifer pia alikuwa alikuwa malaika. Abraham was visited by angels. Abraham akakotembelewa na malaika. In his home. Katika nyumba yake. 
Abraham was topped by an, by an unseen angel. Abraham akasitishwa na malaika ambaye hakuonekana. From putting a knife through his son Isaac. Ili asiweke kisu juu ya mwanae Isaka. When Adam and Eve disobeyed God. Wakati Adamu na Eve walikatie Mungu. And were driven out of the garden. Wakatolewa pale katika shamba. The Bible says that God placed a cherubim and a flaming sword. Biblia inasema kaeka malaika aliyekuwa na upanga. To guard the way to the tree of life. Ili akalinde njia kwenda kwenye Genesis Genesis 3:24. Mwanzo 3:24. The Bible says also the author of Hebrews says admonishes Mwandishi wa Ibrahimu pia anasema Do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers Usiwachilie basi kuonyesha wema kwa wale ambao ni Whereby some have entertained angels unawares Hebrews 13:2 Wengine wamekabilisha wageni bila kujua Angels were commissioned to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. Malaika walitumwa kaangamize Sodoma na Gomorrah. Genesis 19:1. Genesis 19:1. Jacob encountered angels at Bethel. Yakobo akakumbana na malaika pale Betheli. When Israel was delivered from Egypt. Wakati Israeli walitolewa Misri. It was an angel who struck the firstborn. Ilikuwa ni malaika wa kwanza ndiye alitoa ule pango. Of every family to death. Ili familia yote kila mwanzo wa mtoto wa kiume wake. Angels announced the birth of Jesus. Malaika walitangaza kuzaliwa kwa Yesu. Look to Luke 8:14. Because we are entering the Christmas season, we need to read that. Kwa vile tunaingia msimu wa Christmas, tunafaa kusoma hiyo. You know Christmas is not about shopping. Christmas is about our Jesus. Christmas ni kuhusu Yesu wetu. Um look um yeah we can read from Luke. Luke 2:8:14. Luke 2:8:14. Luke 2:8:14. Yeah, there we go. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby keeping watch over their flocks at night verse 9. Palikuwa na walinzi ambao walikuwa naweka pale kondoo zao usiku. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were terrified. Na malaika wa Mungu akajitokeza kwao na wakawa wameshangaa. But the angel said to them, Malaika akawaambia, Do not be afraid. Musiogope. I bring you good news. Na waletea habari njema. That will cause great joy. Itakayoleta furaha kubwa. Great joy. Furaha kubwa. Jesus came to bring us joy. Yesu alikuja kutuletea furaha. There is something about the joy that the Lord brings. Kuna kitu kuhusu furaha ambayo Yesu wa Mungu analeta. That nobody can take it from kuna you. Kuna mtu yote anaweza kuondoa kwako. Verse 11. Today in the town of David. Leo katika mji wa Daudi. A savior has been born to you. Mwokozi amezaliwa kwenu. He is the Messiah. Yeye ni Mesia. The Lord. Ni Bwana. Verse 12. 12. This will be a sign to you. Hii itakuwa ishara kwenu. You find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. Hata mtoto ambaye amefungwa katika nguo na amekaa pale kwenye pole. Pale Suddenly this is what I wanted you to see. Mara moja a great company of the heavenly host. Kundi kuu la la malaika kutoka bibi. Appeared with the angel. Wakadhirika pamoja na malaika. Praising God. Wakimsifu Mungu. Wakisema Glory to God in the highest. Utukufu kwa Mungu aliye juu. Heaven on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. Bingu na ardhi amani kwake ambaye yeye kibali kimekuko juu yake. It was fascinating. Ilikuwa kustajabisha. To meet an angel. Kukutana na malaika. But the author is saying. Lakini mwandishi anasema. Jesus. Yesu. Is greater. Yeye ni mkuu. Greater. Mkuu. Greater. Mkuu. Than angel. Kuliko malaika. Jesus Christ. Yesu Kristo. So it's still angels who minister to our Lord Jesus Christ. Kwa ni malaika bado walihudumia Bwana Yesu Kristo wetu. In the days of his temptation. Katika siku za majaribu yake. So Jesus himself concerned yes. angels he spoke. He spoke about angels. He yes. said, Yesu Kristo mwenyewe akanena kuhusu malaika. Everyone who acknowledges me before men. Kila yote ambaye anatambua mbele ya watu. The son of man also will acknowledge before the angels of God. Bwana wa Mungu atamtambua mbele ya malaika wa Mungu. Angels carried the poor beggar Lazarus. Malaika wakabeba yule maskini Lazarus. After his death to Abraham's boss. Kupeleka kwenye kifua cha Ibrahimu. Luke 16:22. Luka 16:22. Little children have guardian angels. Watoto wawili wako na malaika na wanaolinda. Matthew 18:10. Matthew 18:10. In the acts of the apostles. Katika matendo ya mitume. An angel opened the prison door. Malaika akafungua milango ya gereza. For the apostles in Acts 5:19. Kwa mitume 5:19. An angel directed Philip. Kukaa kunaelekezwa kwa Philip. To the Ethiopian eunuch. Kwa yule ambaye ni muzee malaika wanaweza tena makuu makuu mambo makuu but we have a greater one lakini tulie naye mkuu than the angels ambaye ni mkuu kuliko malaika yeye ni mkuu who struck herod 
Herod. Aliweza kuua yule ambaye ni Herod. Acts 23. The author of Hebrews. Mwandishi wa Hebrews assures us. Anatuhakikishia. The angels of God. Malaika wake Mungu. Are the servants of God. Ndio watumishi wa Mungu. And the servants of those. Watumishi wa wale. Who inherit salvation. Walio warithi wa wa uokovu. Their work is also clearly stipulated. Maneno pia yamebwekwa bayana. That's why we should not exalt angels. Tusiinue malaika. Their work is clear. Kazi yao ina maanisho. They worship Christ. Tukuabudu Yesu. They worship. Their work is to worship Christ. Kazi yao ni kumwabudu Yesu. Hebrews 1:6. Hebrewia 1:6. They offer us adequate assistance in the service of God. Wanatupaidia usaidizi katika kazi ya Mungu. Hebrews 12:22. Hebrews 12:22. They are ministering spirits. Wanahudumu wale ambao ni roho. To help us enter. Kutusaidia kuingia. Into the fullness of salvation. Katika ukamilifu wa wokovu. Who I love what Apostle John in Revelation writes. Penda kile wokovu ufunua Yohana anasema. You know this thing we call time. Hii Time that we spend the way we like. Wakati tunao tunumia vile tunataka. We can spend time. Tunaweza tumia vile vyote. We can do what we like with it. Tunaweza tenda chochote nacho. This time will come to an end. Huu wakati utafikia mwisho. Sometimes you think you have so much time. Saa zingine unafikiria uko na wakati mwingi. But Apostle John says time will also come to an end. Lakini Yohana anasema kitu wakati utafikia komo. When an angel of God. Malaika wake Mungu. Will stand astride. Can you imagine? Astride across the the earth and the sea. Atasimama kiwa pale amekanyanga dunia na mlaika. An angel. Malaika. Who stand across a stride. Atasimama pale the earth and the sea. Katika dunia na hata ziwa. The angel will stand. Atasimama yule malaika. In the end time. Katika siku za mwisho. Of man on earth. Revelation 10:1. Mwisho wa mtu katika dunia. I love this one. Napenda hii. 12 angels. Malaika 12. Wait to welcome the redeemed. Wanagojea kukaribisha wale walikombolewa. The Lord home. Waliokombolewa kurudi nyumbani. To, to the arrest in the holy city. Katika mahali pao pa kubumzika manchi wa kuzishi. One at each city gate of God. Moja katika kila malango ya mji. Revelation 21:12. 11:12. No. This author. Huyu mwanzilishi. It was very important for Il, the writer of Hebrews. Ilikuwa maana sana katika mwandishi wa Hebrewia. To set for the read his readers kuwekea wale ambao watasoma and clearly kwa bayana na kwa kwa kwamba Kristo is above yeye yako juu all angels ya malaika wote that's what he's saying hiyo ndiyo anasema in verse 1 to 5 moja hadi 5 Christ Kristo is above ako juu all angels ya malaika wote Christ Kristo is above ako juu all angels ya malaika wote he's exalted ameinuliwa above all angels juu ya malaika wote and now na sasa he's seated ameketi at the right hand kwenye mkono wa kiumbe of the most high wa god wa mungu aliye juu mkuu of the most high god mungu aliye juu mkuu so that author kwa hiyo mwandishi he devotes the rest of um, chapter 1 anaweka hayo mengine yote ya mwanzo to quoting about seven old testament passages katika kuelekeza ya kale saba ambayo yameandikwa establishing the truth that Ak- jesus christ akibainisha ukweli kwamba yesu kristo superior yeye ni mkuu over angels kuliko malaika in verse 5 he says aya tano anasema for which angels kwa yupi malaika did god ever say mungu alisema you are my son kwake kwamba wewe ni mwanangu ni yupi ni yupi which angel? Ni yupi malaika? Not Michael. Sio Maile, Michael. Not Gabriel. Sio Gabrieli. You are my son. Ati wewe ni mwanangu. Today, leo, I become your father. Nimekuwa baba yako. Who? Which one? Nani? Yupi? Or again? Ama pengine. I'll be his father. Nitakuwa baba yake. And he will be my son. Na yeye atakuwa mwanangu. God has never said. Mungu hajawahi sema. To any angel. Kwa malaika yoyote. You are my son. Kwamba wewe ni mwanangu. All this is emphasizing. Hii yote ni sisitizo. The position. Sehemu. And who Jesus Christ. Na nani Yesu aliye? Is. Aliye in relation to God. Katika kuhusika katika Mungu. In relation to angels. Katika kuhusika yana pia na malaika. Angels are powerful. Malaika wana nguvu. And divinely used. Na pia wanahusika kiungu. But none. Lakini hakuna hata mmoja. Is a son. Ambaye ni mwana. God has only one son. Mungu ana mwana mmoja tu. And that son. Na huyo mwana is Jesus Christ. Ni Yesu Kristo. And we need that truth in our hearts. Tunahitaji huo kweli katika mioyo yetu. The times that we are living in. Huo wakati ambao tunaishi. Where people have begun to question. Ambao watu wameanza kutoa statements and say there is no God. Kufanya mambo na kusema hakuna Mungu. And they meet our children in their in their institutions. Wanakutana na vio wanawetu kule. 
when they go to the universities okay. whether they are in Kenya in the country or abroad and they meet, they meet these professors and philosophers who begin to question who, who Jesus Christ is and they begin Yesu to say how do you know there is no son so it's important for this truth to sink in our hearts so that we can pass it on so that we can speak with conviction so that even when we can pass it on so that even when we are shaken hata wakati umetingishwa or if times come when we are we are we are at times of persecution ama wakati wa mateso ukija we will know who we stand what we stand for tutajua tumesimamia nini what we we'll believe na tunaamini nini so he has never said to any any angel hajawahi sema kwa malaika yote none that, that he is his son kwamba huyu ni mwanaye so god has only one son mungu ana mwana moja and that son is jesus na huyo ni yesu kristo and jesus has always been na yesu amekuwa wakati wote mwana wake mungu so now in verse 5 kwa hivyo aya 5 the the author of hebrews quotes the old testament verse mwandishi wa ibrahimi anasema andiko la kale he quotes psalm 27 anasema zaburi 2:7 i will proclaim the decree of the lord nitatangaza ukuu wa mungu He said to me akaniambia you are my son wewe ni mwanangu today i have become your father leo nimekuwa baba yako it was a prophecy ilikuwa unabii that was written ambao uliandikwa about christ kana kiliwa kuhusu yesu so the hebrews that um, the author is addressing himself to ambaye mwandishi hapa anasema kwake they believed that God was surrounded by angels. Aliamini kwamba Mungu amezungukwa na malaika. The heavenly hosts. Wale ambao ni wabii nguni. And and to them na wao and to them those were those you know the superior being wao ndio walikuwa viumbe vikuu so it was very important kwa hivyo ilikuwa maana sana that the author makes it clear mwandishi kubainisha that there is one above them kwamba kuna mmoja aliye juu yao even those beautiful angelic hosts na kuna mmoja au ambao ni warembo wa malaika beams and seraphim malaika serebuni na sherebuni all of them wote they worship wanamwabudu the son mwana you know in isaiah 6 katika isaiah 6 it is recorded about the vision that Isaiah saw. Imeandikwa kuhusu maono ambayo Isaiah aliona. He saw the vision. Ilikuwa aliona maono. Vision of heaven. Maono ya bingu. And he saw exactly the train and the glory. Na akaona ule mti wa utukufu. So the Jewish Christians. Akaona wale wa Wayahudi wa Kristo understanding katika huo kuelewa ama kwa huo so important ndio maana ya maana for the author to make it clear mwandishi kubayanisha right at the beginning of his book pale katika utangulizi wa kitabu chake jesus was kwamba yesu ni nani because later on he's going to talk about him being the sacrificial lamb kwa sababu baadaye atanena kuhusu yeye ikiwa dhabihu he's going to talk about the blood atanena kuhusu damu ya yesu kristo he's going to talk about the new covenant atanena kuhusu agano jipya and why it was important to do away with the old covenant na kwa nini maana iondolewe lile la And so it was very important at the beginning. Ilikuwa cha maana sana mwanzo. For them to understand who this Jesus is. Kutanguliza kuelewa Yesu alikuwa ni nani. So the Hebrew author shows. Mwanjilishi hapa anasema that in the final age. Katika wakati wa mwisho Christ is in control. Kristo ndiye anachukua usukani. Christ is in control. Kristo ndiye anachukua usukani. And this reality needs to dawn on us. Na hii basi ukweli unafaa kudumuna yetu. Christ is in control. Kwamba Kristo ako katika usukani. Every situation. Katika hali yote. Christ is in control. Kristo ako katika usukani. In your life. Hata maisha ni mwako. In your life. Katika maisha yako. He was there from the beginning. Alikuwa tangu mwanzo. He is there now. Ako sasa. And he will be there in the world Na to come. Na takuwa wakati wa siku zijazo. So he is in control. Ako katika usukani. The son, mwana, who sits beside the father. Ambaye anaketi kwenye mkono wa kule wa majesty. Katika ukuu. The angels are just messengers around him. Malaika wako tu pale uko kutumwa, kutumika. Jesus is the begotten son of God. Yesu ndiye mwana wa pekee wa Mungu. And the angels are the creatures of God. Na malaika ni viumbe wa Mungu. Jesus is the Lord of life. Yesu ni bwana wa uhai. Without him man cannot live. Bila yeye mwanadamu haezi ishi. Without him man cannot live. Bila yeye mwanadamu haezi ishi. If we deny him, tukimkataa We deny that anointed of God. Tunakata mwenye mafuta wa Mungu. If you deny him. Tukimkata. If we deny him. Tukimkata. We are denying the anointed. Tunakata upako wake Mungu. So the 
author was saying. Kwa hivyo mwandishi anasema. God speaks to a person. Mungu ananenea mtu. God speaks. Mungu ananena. He spoke in the past. Alinena awali. He is speaking now. Ananena sasa. He will continue to speak. Ataendelea kunena. But through his son. Lakini kupitia mwanae. Through his son. Kupitia mwanae. Through his son Jesus. Kupitia mwanae Yesu. And even now. Na hata sasa. He speaks to a person. Ananenea mtu. In a particular uh, um mata katika hali fulani na particular moment na katika wakati fulani everything about you chochote kile kukuhusu before you existed kabla uliishi now in your present sasa katika wakati wako and in your future na hata siku za usoni is held together zimeshikanishwa pamoja by the sustainer na kuhakikishwa na Yesu Kristo You know when you understand this. Ukielewa haya all these things drop haya mambo yote yanaanguka fear drop uoga unaanguka Chains drop. Hata minyororo inaanguka. Barriers break. Hata vizuizi zinavunjika. Doors open. Milango inafunguka. Sustained by Jesus. Inadumishwa na Yesu. The root cause of sin. Mwanzo wa dhambi was dealt with by at the cross. Ulikabidhiwa pale nao msalabani. So there's no issue of falling standing. Hakuna mambo ya kuanguka kusimama. I was standing yesterday. Nilikuwa nimesimama jana. Tomorrow I fell. Jana kesho nitaanguka. You can stand. Unaweza simama. He's your sustainer. Yeye ndiye mdumishi wako. Let's just stand on our feet one minute. Wacha tusimame na miguu yetu tena. And exalt this Jesus. Na tumuinue huyu Yesu. You know when we say we lift him higher. Kisema tunamuinua juu. When I was a young Christian. Nilipokuwa mkristo mdogo. I used to lift I, I really lift hands. Nilikuwa nainua mikono yangu so, juu. Even now. Hata sasa. So I, I, I would think in my mind because Ninge, I'm a baby Christian. Ningefikiria kwa sababu mimi ni mwana mtoto. You know, mtoto. Lifting, lifting him is like you, you lift him. Kumuinua ni hivi kumuinua. <laughs> I don't know whether you you've ever experienced that. Sijui kama umewahi pata hilo jambo. But we jambu. lift him. Lakini tunamuinua. In our character. Katika mwenendo wetu. In our decision. Katika uamuzi wetu. In our plans. Katika mipango yetu. In our choices. Katika uamuzi wetu. In our decision. Katika uamuzi wetu. He is Christ. Yeye ni Kristo. Above all. Aliye juu ya yote. Above all powers. Juu ya nguvu zote. Above all principalities. Juu ya tawala zote. Above governments. Juu ya sayo. Above systems. Juu ya sayo. Above policies. Juu ya sayo. Maumuzi. He is Lord. Yeye ni Mungu. Lord of all. Bwana wa yote. Lord of the universe. Bwana wa dunia. Oh, the creator of all things. Mumba wa yote. He sustains all things. Anadumisha yote. But the power of his word. Na nguvu ya mkono wake. Isn't that doing something to your soul? Sio inatenda kitu katika nafsi yako. What is happening to nini kinatendeka kwako ndani? Haujioni ukipanuka. That's why we come to conferences like Something is happening on our inside. Kitu kinatendeka ndani yetu. We are becoming spiritual giants. Tunakuwa mazimu ya kiroho. We are understanding who we are. Tunajielewa sisi ni nani? We are the bright. Tuna sisi ni wana powerful bright. Walio ondoa kwa kuwa. We are unshakable. Hatuwezi tingisika. Immovable. Hatuwezi tingisika. We stand firm. Tunasimama imara. Because we know Jesus. Kwa sababu tunajua Yesu. The Lord of glory Bwana wa tukufu the soon coming king yeye ambaye anakuja mashallah la bossa the soon coming king yeye ambaye ni fahamu anayekuja the lion of the tribe of judah yeye ambaye ni lion of tribe of judah the one who was yeye ambaye ndiye the one who is yeye ambaye aliye the one who is to come atakaye kuja the beginning and the end na mwisho oh hallelujah more than a miracle zaidi ya mujiza jesus yesu the lord of all bwana wa yote he sustains all things vitu vyote therefore i'm not shaken kwa hivyo sitingisiki therefore i'm not fearful kwa hivyo siogopi everything that comes my way chochote kinakuja kwangu he has it all in control yeye anahusika everything kila kitu everything chochote kile everything chochote kile everything kila kitu did you see what we read umeona kile tumesoma all things mambo yote is above Oh, ako juu ya yote. He's not surprised by anything. Hashangazi ina chochote. He's not oops. Hashangazi, hashtuki. He's got everything. Yeye ni chochote kile kwako. Holding it together. Ameshikilia yote pamoja. Oh, he has your children in his hands. Ana watoto wako mkononi mwake. He has your future in his hands. Ana siku zako za usoni mkononi mwake. He has your seat in his hands. Ana chochote kile chako mkononi mwake. He has your destiny in his hands. Ana tamati yako mkononi mwake. Nothing. Hakuna chochote. No power. Hakuna nguvu. No threats of Hakuna Satan. Nguvu, no territorial devils. Hakuna no mamlaka. No witchcraft. Hakuna uchawi. No sorcery. Hakuna uchawi. No divination. Hakuna ni uchawi. No uchawi. magic. Hakuna uchawi. No psychic. Hakuna chochote kile. Can move him. Kinaweza muondoa. From his position. Kutoka sehemu yake. Come on lift him up. Inua mikono yake juu. Uinue jina lake. Love on this bright. Enda huyu mwana. He's Lord. Yesu. He's Lord. Ni bwana. Oh, he's Lord. Ni bwana. And that's why we say. Ndio maana tulisema. Oh, Jesus. Yesu. Jesus. Yesu. I love you Jesus. Nakupenda 
Yes. Oh, we need to love this Jesus. Kupenda, yes. We need to fall in love with this Jesus. Upendo. We need to connect with this Jesus. Na Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Yes. Bright morning star. The lily of the valley. Yeah, Rose of Sharon. Lion of the tribe of yeah. Judah. Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Yes. Yes, Jesus. 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 Yes, Jesus.